Anderson Cooper, AC360, CNN Weeknights, 10 Eastern. Breaking news tonight, a top BP executive says the company is studying a novel way of killing this well once and for all. It's called a static kill or bullheading and would involve pumping mud into it through the outlet valves with the cap still on. We're going to have details on this in a moment and tell you why it may mean we'll never get an exact amount or exact number of how much oil poured out of that well each day. The good news tonight is that the oil is not flowing. The bad news tonight is that neither is the information. And tonight, as always, we're keeping them honest. We have a right to know what is happening under the water and on the surface. Thad Allen, the government's point man today, ordered BP to provide vital data faster, information on anything unusual about what's really going on down there. He wants that information within four hours. Given how quickly things can change and how slowly BP has communicated in the past, you wonder why the government isn't demanding four minutes. But four hours would certainly be an improvement. We have a right to know, after all. If you've watched our coverage, you know we have been exposing BP's stranglehold on information for months now. First, it was the underreporting the flow rate of oil, then the reluctant release of video of the leak. Then during the crucially important top kill procedure, 16 hours went by before they informed the public it was on hold. More than 12 hours went by before they even informed Thad Allen. I could go on and on with examples, large and small, of BP's lack of transparency. The bottom line that they don't seem to understand is that we have a right to know. For months, we've wondered why, even on critically important operations, we aren't getting real-time information or real-time explanations. When NASA launches a space shuttle, there's an announcer explaining what is happening second by second. When BP launches an operation, silence. We have a right to know. About three weeks ago, BP sounded like they were going to change. Bob Dudley, the guy who replaced Tony Hayward as the public face of the company, said this. We have had a camera there looking at the oil uh, spill uh, that's coming out of the well from the very beginning. They're done with, there's about 14 robots down there, and sometimes they move off and other ones are in place. There's maintenance that need to be done. And we've had well operations where I'm sure some very strange things are happening on the screen and people can't follow it. And we talked about that. So in the coming weeks, as we do additional things around that wellhead and change the flow, we are going to try to put in there sort of a bubbled caption of what people are seeing, how they see it. Uh, we're, we're even talking about one of our engineers maybe having a, a, a verbal way of you know, sort of saying, here's what's happening now. So they acknowledge it's confusing. They acknowledge people can't understand what they're actually seeing in that live camera underwater. And that was nearly three weeks ago. And yet, like many other promises by PEP, that one has been forgotten. They refuse to talk to me, and that's fine. That's their right. But just last night, the Washington Post asked BP if a statement made by one of their top officials in the morning was still accurate so many hours later. And BP spokesman John Curry told the Washington Post that they weren't going to be giving real-time updates of what's happening at the well. He said, and I quote, we're not going to provide a running commentary. If there's a change, a release will be issued. After so many days, after more than 90 days, it is clear that BP views us and you as a nuisance, as an inconvenience. Small people have to be dealt with but who, shouldn't be but who should be content being kept in the dark. We are not content. Tens of thousands of people here have their lives on hold, their futures perched on a precipice. They are desperate for facts and information, and they and we and you have a right to know.